Ice planets are the worst, yet again. It's turn 6. This turn is going to be much of a repeat of the last one, where there is nothing happening. It's one of those typical early game turns. Uh, 6 research labs constructed last turn, 6 research labs constructed this turn. I think this turn we're actually going to finish power, yeah. Let's reduce the research investment, somewhere like 77%, maybe even a little less. Maybe a lot less. It's going to what we we're going to be what we need to do it in one turn. Okay, and the remaining thirty nine percent we can spend on something else. Hmm. What is that going to be? Should be ye should we go for the more expensive orbital industry? Not exactly sure how much of an increase these uh, fancier technologies would be. Or should we go for these really cheap ones that give us better research labs and such? Well, I mean, now we have constructed all the research labs we've uh, needed to fill out the homeworld. Hmm. This gives us solar plants and hospitals, not really stuff we need. Does it say that it unlocks anything else? Unlocks additional items in nuclear physics, quantum physics, industry, governance, power and bombs. Nothing I particularly want from there. So maybe we should unlock quantum physics and go that route. Because I think that's what will unlock us better engines yet. <laughs> yeah, level 3 sensors won't do us any good without level 3 uh, physics as well, I don't believe. Maybe we should just go for a level of propulsion get better thrusters. I'm not sure if they uh, have added thrust, but um, I would assume so. That could also make our ships a little bit more efficient. Uh, a little less terribly inefficient, let's say it that way around. Hmm, yeah, fun thing. Something you don't see in vanilla is these, uh, these technology costs. The first level of colonization tax costs a lot more than the second level. It's not something you see in vanilla. And I think... Uh, that's just that the first level costs as much and that the other ones cost less. Not that these all cost that much. Oh, it says cost 5000. Oh yeah, this also says cost 5000, so yeah, they're all equal. Mm -hmm. It's not just because that's the homeworld type that I picked or something. No. We could also invest a little bit into these things. Maybe stealth would be interesting for keeping an eye on my opponent without him knowing about it because information really is everything in these games it's one of the reasons why I like sensors so much especially in PvP games sensors long-range scanners and cloaks can be very powerful tools if you know if an enemy is building something in particular researching something in particular where he's going to attack then you can be in such a uh, so much of a better position well, for now it's propulsion. We'll see what the increased thrusters do. Next turn we're going to have to redesign our ships to take advantage of the uh, better reactors. But for now, that's it. Mm. Is it? Yes, these things are still building. For now, that's it then.